What happened to the Legacy Drum Gun from Chapter 5, Season 2? The Legacy Drum Gun, it just, I really think this weapon has gone too soon. It got replaced in Season 3. We'll talk about that in a minute, what replaced it and why I think they replaced it. But the Legacy Drum Gun just, it, it always felt like it was a perfect weapon because it wasn't, it wasn't like the overpowered broken one, but it also wasn't as weak as the, as the base one that we've come to know. I just think it was a good weapon, and I really think if you look at the stats and we look at the relation between the other two drum guns we've seen in the past, I think this gun really did deserve to be in the game. It just got taken out, and I think there were five reasons why it did get taken out. Five reasons that probably led to it being taken out. But we'll get to all of that. First, let's look at its stats. Stats are pretty simple. Rare, epic, and legendary. Um, it had the blue, purple, and gold variants. Ammo type is bullets. Damage is 22 to 24. DPS 182 to 199. Headshots 33 to 36. Fire rate 8.3. Magazine base was 30. Extended magazine gave it 40 bullets. Structure damage times 1. Reload 3 to 2.5 seconds. Class was assault weapons. Machine gun status and subclass is Tommy Gun because of course the drum gun is just a Tommy Gun except with a much um, simpler and much more fun name to say. So this is the legacy drum gun in the center from chapter 5. The base drum gun that we've come to all know and love or hate is in the, the right. Now as you can see I think if we look at those stats we'll see a great there's a theme going on. Look at the damage 21 to 22 22 to 24. I think what Epic was probably going for here, and the only, th and this is a good reason for why I think it should come back, this is the legendary and epic version of the drum gun, the bass drum gun. Look, 21 to 22. If they cut off the blue legacy drum gun and just made it the legacy drum gun epic to gold, this could be the epic and gold variant. The drum gun and the legacy drum gun both did 22 damage and were relatively the same when it came to their stats. The only thing that's different is the DPS, but that's just because this one fired more rounds. 8.3 versus 8, not a big difference. I think if they did similar to the hunting rifle, where this is the, the green and blue variant, and they added this, but they scrapped the blue variant and just made it purple and gold, you could make this the regular blue and gold drum gun, and this is the higher rarity drum gun with increased stats. Now if we compare it to the OG drum gun, that was the broken one, as you can see, there's not much comparison, because this thing was broken. 26-27 damage, 234-243, magazine 50 bullets, this thing was shredding people in less than a second. Not like these, which, well, the, the legendary version of this definitely could have shred people if you got at least one headshot. But this thing, it didn't matter if you got body shots, you were, you were killing a person in one second as long as you hit them. So when it comes to comparison, damage 1, DPS 1, magazine 1, fire rate 1, this thing was the most deadly drum gun we've ever seen, which is why it was vaulted and then brought back and then nerfed into the ground to turn into our base drum gun, the one that we've come to associate with. So honestly, when we look at the damage DPS and mag, magazine, this thing was on par with the with the regular drum gun. Really the only thing that I think this gun suffers from is that it was just, it just did, it just did more damage than the regular drum gun. It had better damage DPS, the magazine was worse but you could upgrade it to be the same as the original. The reload was better, the fire rate was better, I mean it was just slightly better than the original drum, than not the original, nothing's better than this one but it was better than the base drum gun. So honestly, this thing could have fit into the game's meta as being the upgraded epic and legendary variant of the base drum gun. That's what it should have been. But then again, why would Epic put two different drum gun variants in the game? It doesn't seem like they're, it fits their style of really dumb business decisions. Which gets us on to business. So five determining factors for why this gun got removed. Honestly, the first one balanced, it was perfectly balanced. I think if they had the normal drum gun in the game 
and this drum gun in the game, and this was the epic and legendary variant, it would make perfect sense and would be perfectly balanced to fit the other drum gun. But that's only one of the factors. The other four, that's where it starts to make a little bit more sense why this gun was taken out. Number two, purpose. In Chapter 5, Season 1, we had three assault weapons, the Striker AR, Nemesis AR, and Enforcer AR. In Chapter 5, Season 2, the Striker AI, AR was replaced by the drum gun. In Chapter 5, in a little bit in the midway between Season 2 and 3, we had the introduction of the Tactical AR. It was near the end of the season. And then in Chapter 3, the drum gun was scrapped and the Tactical AR was put in its place. So we if we follow chapter 1 to chapter chapter 5 season 1 and season 3 chapter 5 Epic really just wanted to have three of each category except for pistols. Uh, we're still waiting for that third pistol. I don't know what it's going to be. I would like it to be a revolver, but the hand cannon and the sidearm pistol are fine. But anyway, I think they're just trying to get three. They put in four assault weapons in chapter 5 season 2.5 update. They really only wanted three assault weapons. They were just trying to see how the players liked the new tactical AR. And honestly, the tactical AR was a little bit better than it used to be back in Chapter 1, but I still like the drum gun better. I still use the drum gun better. In fact, I think the tactical AR combined with the drum gun is better than an SMG rifle combination. Just my opinion, but let me know what you think down in the comments about that opinion. Other than that, I think what Epic did is when they added the tactical AR, they made the classic Epic decision of picking the wrong weapon that players liked more. They were like, oh, the people like the tactical AR. They're saying it's better. Well, maybe that's because they're saying it's better than the drum gun. No, it's not better than the drum gun. It, it's not better than the drum gun. The tactical AR is just better than it used to be. But Epic decided we only need three assault weapons in the game. We don't need four. So they replaced the drum gun ultimately with the tactical AR. And as you can see from chapter 5, season 1, they replaced the striker AR with a drum gun. And if we go from chapter 2 to chapter 3, skipping the mid-season update, the drum gun was replaced with a tactical AR, keeping the nemesis and enforcer. So in my mind, I think they just switched out the drum gun for the tactical AR. But they wanted to see how it paired with the other two assault rifles, so they added it mid-season to see how it would do. And it did okay. Another thing is playstyle, and honestly, the drum gun and the tactical AR have similar playstyles. The drum gun is the middle ground between a rifle and an SMG. It it fires similar to a rifle, but you can spray and pray just like an SMG. A tactical AR is just an SMG with a longer range, which I guess you could say is the same thing, but while I thought the drum gun leaned more towards being a rifle than an SMG, the tactical AR was just an SMG with a longer range. It sounded wimpy like an SMG. It fired too fast. It fired almost as fat, fast as like an LMG. I mean, the tactical AR just fired faster and had a longer range than an SMG. That's, so it's literally just a longer range SMG. So with the playstyles being similar, I think it was more on the purpose of they wanted to see how the tactical AR was, and they made the wrong decision by putting it in the game and scrapping the drum gun instead. Feedback. This one's a little bit hit or miss. Obviously, the Fortnite tries to look at what its fans think, what the players think. Have a few article titles here. As we guess, the drum gun is awful, even with attachments. I think that's a little harsh, but I do see where they're coming from. The 30 bullet magazine based drum gun is a little bit weak. If you don't have the extended mag, it's almost impossible to use this thing correctly as it's supposed to be. Is the drum gun even worth using in chap chapter 5? That's a little harsh as well, but still harsh. How good is the new mythical drum gun? I mean, it's, not, it's literally just about the mythical variant. It's not even about the regular variant. So feedback's kind of, yeah, a lot of couple uh, weak misses there. And then finally, investment. As you can see on the chart, we have the player numbers. You can see that it spiked during the time capsule season. This is Chapter 5, and this is Chapter 5 as well. Chapter 5, Season 1, Chapter 5, Season 2. Chapter 5, Season 2, you can see a spike. I think some of that spike was attributed to the fact that players saw the drum gun in the drum, drum gun in the trailers and were like, hey, the drum gun's back. But then after it weared off and all the hype weared off, it was back down to decline. So the drum gun didn't really 
give Fortnite the investment they're looking at. They thought maybe it would increase player ship. It didn't. It it really only just gave a month long, like a week long spike, and then everyone was like, "Well, the game's still garbage." So I mean, why are we gonna play it if it's still garbage? Drone gun's fun, but I mean, it's only really fun if the game is the base game package is exciting. So not the drone gun's faults, but if the investment didn't work, the feedback was middle was mild. The play styles between it and the tactical AR was somewhat the same. Epic made the dumb decision, and of course, it bought them dearly, because as you can see in the June outlook, and July is even worse right now, It did not. it's not going well for them after they scrapped the drum gun for the tactical AR. But I think that's exactly what happened. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been Gone Too Soon, the Legacy Drum Gun. As, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you guys next time. Toodaloo!